Hey guys, let's go. I'm back from being sick for like a whole two weeks. As you see, this 257 to my left. Just uh, keep him in mind real quick. But uh, today we're playing in the 50B. I've never featured this on my channel before, obviously, because my channel only like ever features the Chieftain and the 122 TM. But uh, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, just go ahead and uh, there we go. Turn it down a little bit. And fix our thing because I am uh, a little scrubbish on uh, making videos at the moment. So, first uh, two minutes of this game, I don't really think I do anything, but probably a long one. I don't know why I just ate something real quick. Mid video. Also, keep the CBR in mind. He's going to be very important later. A little bit of spoilers here. I don't hit the EBR at all. Kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now we're reloading. And there's a replay bug. Nice. So, um, what do you want to do in the 50B? Uh, you really want to get some easy pin shots, like find a way to, to get someone's side and clip them out real quick. And this gun is extremely accurate, so, I mean, for a heavy tank with an auto loader anyway. Well, your shot's always going to be aimed in fully. from uh, just clipping someone up. So what you can do is uh, just fire all your shells without having to really take the time to aim your shots in, right? You, you have to take the time to aim, obviously. I mean, you, you have to aim where your shells are gonna go, so you don't have to. miss and like reload with a quarter clip but didn't realize the c28 was out so far so we're gonna smack him once and we're just gonna see the accuracy of this gun like we don't have a lot of this d28 that was just a bad shot by me just look at the gun look at the gun look at the gun man look at it. it's uh, 1150 damage in 10 seconds seven and a half seven and a half seconds Should have been within five seconds, but you know, poorly aimed shot by yours truly. By the way, this is game of the week. I don't know if I said that or not, but uh, yeah. I'm also gonna do another video uh, sometime this week. I actually already like have it, um, all the stuff I need for it to put it together. It'll be a chieftain video, so if you don't like that, uh, sorry. But uh, yeah, one of my friends said some really good games in our chieftain, so I'm gonna feature it back to back pretty much I think he said so let me see this E50M look at the E50M look at the E50M now in this situation right now right let me just get my camera out it is me and an Ashton Rex at the front of this battle right there's a Kron a 257 this 257 is actually really important for the end of this game um, actually he's just been important this entire game and I didn't realize this until the end of the game uh, I also didn't see his two marks of excellence, so he's actually a decent player in that tank specifically, I think, because, uh, yeah, it's, that's not that great. Uh, but, it's not going to matter how good his stats were, because the rest of our team was kind of shit in this game. Um, 430 used sniping across the middle. I don't know what the Leo's doing exactly, um, or why he's here. But yeah, it is me and an Astron Rex taking on five tanks right now. Now, the 257 is beginning to move. He's going to push across here pretty soon. And, uh, yeah. But while while I'm zoomed out of here, let's just, uh, real quick, real quick, like, boom, done. Okay. Here we go. We're back on it. Let's see the 50 fire. Like, I'll reload my entire clip before he reloads one. He's reloaded now. Dragon. Go ahead and take the shot from him. 
Didn't realize I was giving myself up to the crowd there, because it's just I was just not paying attention at all. And then I just looked down into his hole and uh, killed him. So that's now three kills in this game, and we're up to uh, 3,600 damage. And I was like, ah, damn, I'm gonna die and not get any more damage. Nope. That is not what happens. But this was in my streak of nine games in a row where I could not win in the stink. So, and this has been over three weeks. So, like, I'm only playing the stink like once a day. So. I see the Emil fire his last shot. I come back out. Boom. Emil dead. So now I've shot four tanks and killed them all. We're just gonna back up and reload here. No, no need to take a shot. Obviously, we are on 200 hit points, but we're also on 5k damage, so uh, yeah, that's always pretty fun. And uh, let's just oh, I wasn't on my uh, camera, Yikes. miss out on the shots there, that's fine. And now, I want you to notice something. We are up by 1,400 hit points and three tanks. I, I I would assume that you'll think that we'll we'll win this battle, right? Boy, do I have a surprise for you! Remember, I said that EBR is going to be very important. That EBR is going to be very important at the end of this game. But anyway, that's the fifth kill of this game for me, and we are now up to 5,600 damage. Their EBR is on one kill, their 212A is on one kill, and their 14, and their chariot here is now on one kill, and he's just been spotted at our base. Now, um, what we should have probably done is look at the, uh, the health counter up there, which uh, mine's a little different because, uh, because I was forced to use it by pro mod, which I did not like. But I was like, ah, screw it. I don't really care if we win this game. I just want damage, because I'm playing in a 50B, and uh, that's all you want in a 50B is damage. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go after the Artie real quick, because he got spotted like an idiot, and he's not even facing us. Look at this, look at this. Boom, auto loader for the win. Now we're gonna reload our, sh our entire mag. And then we're going to drive straight to the base. No, we're not. What are we doing? Where are we going? Okay, that's when I realized the 257 is uh, giving good vision towards that side of the field, right? So, kind of a bit of a bit of discussion between me and the 257 after the game was over. I think we both made the right play here in capping. I just think um, first we got there a little slow. If we got there a little faster, we win the game. But it is what it is. Their EBR is out killing our Arties. I was really hoping that they would just, you know, murk this dude, but I'm just going to cap. And I'm about to uh, kind of mold the two seven or two five seven here. I, I'm really I was really confused at the time as to why he was coming into the cap circle with me instead of uh, going out there to spot me. Uh, I guess I didn't realize that the EBR was on that side of the map, and also didn't realize that the charioteer was flanking from here, around here, across here. And through here but we just see the charioteer kill the um, 207 so he's right here somewhere or over here somewhere or over here somewhere and then I died at the EBR and the charioteer is right there so if you don't think the EBR is Still kind of broken and overpowered. Yeah. I also think I kind of missed my mold at the um, 257. I basically just tell him, like, 
I was just confused as to why he came into this cap circle. And I kind of typed it. <laughs> but, anyway, see you guys in the garage for the post game stats. And then I'll get working on tomorrow's video. And we're back with the post game stats. Here we go. 6k damage, 6 kills, top gun, high caliber, passed Gucci's medal for killing two of the Arties, even though one of those shots was a wild shot, because uh, obviously, you see, I got Chuck Norris, that's my commander here, look at that, uh -huh. um, yeah, uh, the EBR ended up picking up nearly 6k damage and, uh, 6 kills, so, yeah, better player than me, obviously, um, but, uh, yeah, this guy is not that bad, but he's, he's not amazing or anything but uh better than i thought he was you know. but, um anyway uh you might see something quite disturbing that um might disgust the fuck out of you um sorry for the language but uh i think it's uh, justified in this situation um you may notice that uh, me and my teammate here uh, have nearly 11,000 combined or er, uh, damage between the two of us, right? And eight kills, I might add. I edited it up. The rest of the team did about 8,000 damage. So uh, this was a 2v15 situation. Um, everybody else was just armor and health. Their guns didn't work very well. You might see the ISU 152 and be like, Oh, 1500 damage. He did something. No, that's two shots. That is two shots. Um, but the Leo has 1500. That's four shots. He fired nine. Bounced five shots in a Leo, I might add. Um, like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Oh, it's an already. What? What? Brick CBR. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah. We had a Kron that fired seven shots, which is um, one over two max, right? Five and O oh on his hit to pin ratio. I was uh, 24, 19, and seven. So, mm. yeah. One of those bounces was on the uh, 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 T28 prototype, and the other one was on the ML2, I believe. So, or maybe it was the VZ. Who knows? Not me. I wasn't paying that close of attention to the game. But anyway, that'll be all for me. I will see you tomorrow with the Chieftain, but not my Chieftain. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. I have been Coven. Goodbye.